All right, what's up, guys? Back some more videos. And in today's video, Paul Delet at the 2003, I think the Hungarian Grand Prix, I believe. Uh, he actually guest posed at this show. I'm not exactly sure if this was a pro and pro amateur or is it just an amateur show, but he did guest pose. And this is where he looked spectacular. Now, his posing kind of sucks. You know, Paul Delet is not known for posing at all. He's just known for just standing there and looking like Mr. Olympia, like looking like a friggin' freak. But I kind of want to do a then and now. I want to see him at his probably his absolute best in terms of just size to what he looks like today and uh, kind of see how drastic that difference is. So let's check out the video first. Paul Dillette posing at probably his biggest. Um, he probably weighs 300 pounds here. Like, a, you know, he's like a six foot, six foot one guy. You know, he's really tall. But um, yeah, he's just not a great poser. But look at the arms, man. You know, and he has that trademark, like really... You know, crazy vast video. It's almost like varicose veins on his shoulder right there. Like just the one shoulder. Um, you know, very, you know, swiggly, you know, um, very obvious pronounced vein development there. But I mean, you know, when you're this size, like your body needs to supply so much blood to the muscle. You know, the veins just get really big and gnarly. Look at this, man. I mean, his posing isn't great. Like, you know, I don't need to keep saying that his posing sucks. Um... But for the size, man, like this guy is freaking nuts, you know. And the thing is that he has really, really wacky proportions. He actually has really gnarly legs, really good arms to match those legs. And just like a really dangerous upper body, like the chest and shoulders, man. He never had a back, but, you know, chest and shoulders, matching those really thick quads, really nice calves. You know, really, really good body, but really good proportions. And... Not exactly sure if he was like maybe a couple weeks out here. People were saying that this is him in the offseason. I doubt this man walked around at like, this looks like maybe 7% seven, 7 body fat year round. Like there's no way he's like off season at around 7 freaking percent, bro. Like you just get out of here with that one. So um, this Paul Dillette probably at his absolute best. Now, what does he look like today? Now, this is about... 17 maybe 16 years ago so now looking at him today 16 15 16 17 years later he is like this um yep that is paul delette sitting on the right as you can see with his uh maybe his you know his co-owner of the wbff you don't know paul actually owns the wbff um the world bodybuilding fitness federation and uh, as you can see man like you know he doesn't you know He's not big anymore. He doesn't bodybuild. You know, he probably still works out. You know, all these guys, for the most part, still worked out. But, you know, he just doesn't have that size like he did before. But, I mean, just a drastic difference, you know. Like, look at this, man. You're coming from a man that was, at one point, probably the biggest bodybuilder in the world. I mean, I know Ronnie was the thing, but, you know, I don't know, man. Like, Paul, put Paul next to Ronnie, like, you know. You know, I mean, Ronnie isn't going to dwarf him at the very least. Like, Ronnie is Ronnie's really big. Like, I'm not saying Ronnie isn't bigger, but, you know, at least he's comparable to Ronnie's best and biggest um, at this size and at this point in his career. I mean, you know, you take a mind that's like this, and, um, you know, he just ends up looking like this. Like, th there's, like, no remnants of his muscle. There's, like, nothing that I can look at that would ever make me believe this is the same mind. You know, um, just everything is just gone. Now, obviously, like, you know, he's retired. You know, he's not supposed to be that big anymore. Like, you know, no one wants to be carrying around all that muscle in size, you know, for years and years and years when you're just retired off the stage. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, guys, let me down below you think about Paul Dillette at his very max potential point of muscle, whatever you want to call it. Um, his very biggest to now his average man status of looking like everyone else and being... You know, obviously part of society and not being the big freakish, hulkish, thick man he once was with all the muscle and size and weighing 300 pounds. I mean, it's a very, you know, drastic change and it's very noticeable and it's kind of shocking to be fair. Like, you know, going from that big to looking like how you look right now. But obviously he's retired and he just doesn't want to carry the math and he doesn't need to. He's not trying to win the Olympia anymore. So anyways, guys, let me down below what you think, like I said, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.